hi and welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series in this video we are going to learn about depends variable of Yocto so what is depends variable the depends variable is used to define or declare the build time dependency for a program or for a recipe or for a package so first of all this video is going to be big so I am dividing this video into two parts but this is the first part of the depends variable in Yocto so first of all I have an image here so I have a recipe called add.bb so we have two C files here add.c and methlib.c the methlib.c contains two two functions the addition and subtraction that are here so we have two functions addition and subtraction and you you see that there is no main main uh, function here and other file is add.c so add.c file it has a main function and it has two numbers and it uses this add function to add these two numbers and print those on the terminal as you can see that we haven't we haven't uh, defined any add function but we are using an external add function but from where this external add function comes from this comes from this math underscore lib dot c but we haven't included it here but we will be adding this using compiler in 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 term of a uh, library or object file so as you can see that we have add.c and mathlib.c so we compile both and from compiler we create an object file of add.c and an object file of mathlib.c the object file of mathlib.c is math underscore lib dot object and add.c is add underscore enter it means intermediate dot o and then we use together uh, both of them to compile and to produce add executable or add binary as you can see here with mathlib.c we are also creating libmath.a this is a archive file or this is also called static library right now we are not using this but we have also uh, generated this uh, this uh, archive or static library now let us see add.bb so in add.bb we have these two files here the file variable in src uri variable this is our work directory in do compile method we have compilation first of all we did from uh, our compiler we have generated math.object file.o file and from this math.o file using this archive utility we have generated math lib math.a file which we are not using right now then we have this add.c file we have also generated add.inter object file using the compiler and then the last step is using these two object files math lib.o and add enter means intermediate dot o we have generated an add binary file and then this uh, libmath dot a we have installed in libdir and this is user lib and install and uh, this uh, add binary the add executable we have installed in binary dir now let us see in local.conf in local.conf I have added this add uh, recipe in my uh, build so let us build core image full command line Uh, 
as it is building right now I am pausing this and I will resume after the build as you can see that the build has been completed and it is it has been succeeded I also have uh, an updated uh, version of this uh, diagram here so here I have added the compiler so here in the two place they are there is compiler now let us check so to check this we can run this run QEMU command if we run this QEMU command we'll get a terminal uh, a virtual terminal and uh, a virtual system and here we can check these uh, binaries or uh, our our whole system our whole image we can test our whole image here uh, with this uh, beagle moon black we don't need to attach a beagle moon black it's kind of a virtual beagle, bo beagle moon black environment so that we'll be testing here so it is being started so now we are here in Logan prompt uh, the login is uh, root and now we are inside so we have this add should be installed and now let us test this just type add and press enter and you, you can see that the we have a output in the, on the terminal it's addition 15 which is this output so we have two numbers 10 and 5 and the addition of the number is number 10 plus 5 and the it's 15 so this is the first part hope you like the video and I will see you in the next video please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching